So listen, we're going straight to the wake your ass up 4 a.m. crew playlist. Look, 592 people we just started the other day. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, what up, what up? So it's day one of the vlog slash glog that's going to be going on here at the website. And so here's the plan. I'm going to go and uh, shoot some stuff on the way to the gym every day or Monday through Friday. Try to give you guys just a little bit of take on what I'm thinking about, what's happening, kind of just my morning thoughts. Because usually that's kind of when, you know, we've all talked about it, I think the clearest. And so I'm going to give you guys some thoughts on either a topic or kind of what's going on on the way to the gym to give you some more elevated training footage instead of just an exercise here or there like actually run through some of the sets see some of the other guy <laughs> see some of the other guys lifts to at the 4am crew and try to create um, and then a recap more of a, a real daily diary for you guys and gals to understand not just only like what we're doing at the gym and so you can see it but also kind of my process on a daily basis of kind of working through certain things or topics that hit me um, and that kind of stuff so I think it'll be cool it's something I'm gonna start start today and so you know so today's topic like is you know based really around the podcast that we just dropped so you guys got to make sure to listen to the business and buy some podcast about you know, people either placing their limitations on you or just really you listening to other people and that's the advice that you kinda, you know, go with <laughs> for the rest of your life. And, and here's one of the main things I wanna kinda point out about that. If I think back to when I was, you know, 19, 20 years old and I knew in my mind what I wanted to do with my life, no one, literally, it's no one else's dream but mine or, or yours, and I'm talking about you. There is absolutely no way that somebody especially that hasn't lived their dream, and that's not you being mean, that's just maybe the reality of the situation, hasn't lived their dream that they could ever identify if you truly want to go for it, truly want to go for it, what you're willing to do, how hard you're willing to work, and how you're willing to study, how you're willing to work for freebie mentor, how, how you're willing to move anywhere. Like most people are not willing to do everything that it takes um, to be successful. And you can't, you can't really expect that. And you can't really explain it to them because they're never going to understand it. So my whole major point is if no one could really identify what, with what I was really willing to do, how could somebody advise me on what's possible or what I should do with my life? Because I remember straight up when I didn't go to a four-year college, you know, a lot of people around me kind of made me feel like I was a fucking loser, you know? They're not making me feel like that now. It wasn't really family members, just kind of be friends of friends, or you know, I just kind of heard things like, you know, he didn't go away to school. He did, like, you were looked upon as a loser if you if you stayed around or you didn't, you know, you didn't uh, go to a certain school or whatever. And to me, like community college, learning a trade, creating a business, like just made more sense and it makes obviously way more sense even in today's landscape with the amount of college debt and those type of things but at the end of the day it's like no matter what you want to do you just got to go try it and not just kind of try it like try it with everything you got every day every ounce of it when you wake up like it literally can transform your life and I really think that episode on business and biceps um, rings true, you know, to a lot of people because I'm sure there's tons of people that have had some ideas or dreams and somebody shot them down. 
And if you let that person that probably is, you know, maybe loves you, I'm not saying they don't like you, but they probably love you, but to let them set that limitation on you when they're not, they don't know what you're willing to do. And the other thing I'm going to say is like, if you're allow, allowing that, then maybe you don't have the mindset to really go get it or you need to reevaluate that what what it takes right because if i would have listened <laughs> to anybody there's no way it would have happened and, and honestly no one around me had a clue of any of the things that i was telling you guys at the first part of this video they just didn't so all right so that's kind of a long usually these are going to be probably three minute intros on the way to the gym but these are my thoughts uh, for today, check out the podcast and uh, let's get to the gym. Wake your ass up, motherfucker! <laughs> So here's the deal. Today was fun. Deficit deadlift. So when I was gone, the guys pulled off one mat. Um, and I don't know that we did week one, even though we're on like week three. Um, so we flipped back and went a deficit of would be about one plate, plate and a half uh, through bands. 220 in tension. Pulled 480, which is by far a PR. I think my best before that was 455. That was a long time ago. So I'm feeling good about that. Overall, the intensity was good. And I gotta tell you guys, everybody's low backs look really strong. And you gotta stay dedicated to those back extensions. I'm telling you, like, when I was on vacation, after five days of drinking beer and uh, smoking cigars, and uh, my, my lower back's what felt the worst, because I'm sitting around and I didn't, didn't have the ability to do back extensions. Once I got back in my basement doing back extensions yesterday, um, doing them today, everything felt like it come back and I felt like I had a whole nother gear. So stay dedicated to those, keep those rest periods low on that, on that back work so we can get ready for chest tomorrow. Day one of the, uh, I don't know what the, yeah man, I don't know what we're calling this, but fucking day one, let's go.